Hello everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of Pulp Crazy. I'm your host, Jason Aiken. In this week's episode, I will be discussing The Pale Man by Julius Long. It first appeared in the September 1934 issue of Weird Tales. I would say the story takes place in the early 1930s. It features a man who is a university assistant staying at a country hotel during the summer months. He's the narrator of the story and is apparently ill enough that his superiors at the university made him take his vacation. During his stay at the hotel, he comes across an unusual individual he dubs the Pale Man. The narrator is curious about him, but he never manages to learn a whole lot about him or even interact with him in any meaningful way. The narrator is staying in room 201 at the hotel, which is the first room along the corridor on that floor. The pale man begins the story staying in room 212 the room that's at the end of the corridor. As the story progresses, the narrator notices the pale man is starting to stay in other rooms, and he's getting progressively closer to the narrator's room. I don't want to spoil what is going on with the pale man or who or what he might be, so I'll put a link in the show notes to Wikisource as well as a zip file that contains PDF pages from the actual Weird Tales issue for you to read. According to Wikisource, the story is in the public domain. This is a pretty short story, too. It's only four pages of pulp magazine text, and it moves pretty quickly. I looked up some information about the author, Julius Long, and according to Wikisource, he was a lawyer in Ohio who wrote detective and horror fiction on the side. And indeed, the Fiction Mag Index does reflect a decent output of detective fiction in such magazines as Black Mask, Detective Story, Dime Detective, and Ten Detective Aces, to name just a few. ISFDB shows he had nine stories in Weird Tales and one in Terror Tales. I'm going to try and track these Weird Tales stories down especially, because I really did enjoy this one quite a bit. That's it for this week's episode. Pulp Crazy is located at PulpCrazy.com. I'm at PulpCrazy on Twitter and facebook.com slash pulpcrazy. My YouTube channel is youtube.com slash pulpcast. You can also email me at pulpcrazy at gmail.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.